Like what you see? Take a closer look at the sleek Haybike Tyson electric folding bike, one of the newest additions to Haybike electric bikes. Yes, it looks pretty cool with its massive frame and 4 inch fat tires, but after test riding it, I discovered it has a lot to offer, including serious power. Hi, I'm Lisa from eBiking Today, and I'm excited to share the Haybike Tyson review and test ride experience. Besides having the obvious advantage of being a foldable e-bike, the Tyson has unique features that make it a huge upgrade from Haybike's best-selling Mars model. Not only does it have more power, greater speed, a longer range, and a higher maximum payload, it has other unique features worth checking out. Let's take a look at the advantages of the Tyson electric bike and its performance. Then I'll point out some disadvantages that could make you think twice about buying it. Here are the Tyson's pros. One of the first things I noticed that was totally different about the Tyson electric fat bike was the tires. Instead of traditional spokes, the Tyson offers a unique one-piece wheel construction. Haybike says that this provides more cushioning and shock resistance. So to test this, I filled my Tyson 20-inch fat tires to the recommended 20 PSI and took off on both paved and dirt roads. Bumps and jarring were minimal, and both my husband Mark and I found them to be perfectly comfortable. Typically, I've reduced the tire pressure when riding off-road for better cushioning on hard ground. However, I really didn't need to on the Tyson e-bike. Haybike also used a one-piece magnesium alloy frame on these tires in an effort to improve stability, quality, and overall safety. I'd agree that this chunky frame feels solid and stable, which I found isn't always true on every folding e-bike. And interestingly, the Tyson has a right-hand thumb throttle. Is it easier to use than if it was on the left side? Well, once I got used to its location, I'd say yes, as it leaves your left hand available for adjusting pedal assist. It's really a personal preference. The handlebar itself is tall and adjustable to the perfect height to keep you comfortably seated upright. Mark found this especially helpful. He was able to ride without hurting his back or getting sore shoulders. In addition, here are some other pros that make this Tyson foldable e-bike different and their unique features that I really appreciate. Number one, the turn signals on both the headlight and the taillight. The lights are visible to cars and other cyclists and they're quick to turn on and off with the dedicated switch. Number two, even the switch for the large headlight is right above the turn signals. And number three, Haybike went beyond the basics with the automatic headlight. It increases safety by coming on automatically when you turn on the e-bike. Turn it off by the switch if you don't want to use it, or push the auto button once and the headlight will come on all by itself when it gets dark. And of course, a huge advantage not to be ignored in this Haybike Tyson review is the folding frame. Not only does it fit in small places, but Mark and I also really liked how easy it is to grip with one hand while folding with the other. Here's how it went my first time folding it. I needed a little extra force to unlatch the handlebars, but it was pretty easy overall. However, I let Mark put it in the car. Watch for the cons of the Tyson below to find out why. Now let's talk performance. But first, this is a good time to hit the like and subscribe button if you're learning a lot in my Haybike Tyson review. Your support is super appreciated. Now performance. With its enhanced 750 watt motor, I had no problem getting up a steep hill. In fact, it has more power than most recreational e-bike riders need. I was able to go 19 to 20 miles per hour on a long, steep hill without any effort. 
The hay bike Tyson also has a 28 mile per hour top speed, up to 55 mile range, 400 pounds maximum payload capacity, hydraulic brakes, and hydraulic front and back suspension. The brakes worked very well, and the suspension smoothed out the ride. And believe me when I say that there's no shortage of power. It takes off fast and sustains its speed. Could there be a disadvantage here? I'll let you know in a minute. But before we get to the cons, there are still a couple of pros worth mentioning. The Tyson has a 4A fast charger, which allows the 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery to charge in under four hours, instead of the typical six to seven. So Mark and I have both been able to have plenty of time to test ride. This also means that you can get up early and charge the Tyson before your morning 40 mile ride. Further, Haybike has also made sure that its Tyson meets the UL 2849 standard for electrical and fire safety. Finally, pending an upgrade, you can connect Tyson's 4G display with the Haybike app for iOS or Android. Doing so will be able to send phone alerts when your e-bike is moved as well as remotely lock and unlock it. Now, I can't leave the Haybike Tyson review without mentioning a couple of potential cons that could affect your decision to buy it. Although you can feel how solid and sturdy the one-piece super thick frame is, 77 pounds is quite heavy for a folding electric fat bike. Then the connecting side of the folding latch sticks out a bit further than I'd like. At times I noticed my leg brush over it when I pedaled. This might not affect someone taller than me. I'm 5'1 and 5'3 is the low end of the recommended height range. I don't consider this a deal breaker, but I hope that the next model will modify this. And here's the problem with the automatic headlight. If you forget to turn off the auto setting, you might find it on when you happen to go out to the garage late at night. Last, the Tyson does take off quickly. It's a powerful machine, and perhaps it's too fast and too powerful for some riders. And finally, here are some other important things you might like to know about the Haybike Tyson. It wasn't hard to assemble, and I liked that the assembly manual had color pictures. But if watching a video is helpful, I provide it in the video description below. Further, customer reviews consistently mention Haybike's excellent customer service, which I see as a big plus. It's also nice to know that the Haybike Tyson comes with fenders, an integrated rear rack, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and one-year manufacturer's warranty. Finally, the Haybike Company won the Green Authority Best of CES 2023 award. So. Is the Haybike Tyson the best electric bike for you? Honestly, the biggest reason this e-bike might not be for you is the weight. If you need to be able to lift it yourself, make sure you are fully capable without risking injury. If you're on the shorter end of the recommended height range, you may find it difficult to get on and off, depending on your leg length. So be sure to check the rider size chart and note your inseam measurement. I've left a link to this below in the description. Otherwise, if you're a rider who truly wants it all, including massive power, the Haybike Tyson may be the perfect fit. Ride smoothly on pavement, go off road, fold it up, and take it anywhere. Thanks for watching the Tyson Electric Bike Review on eBiking today. Now, enjoy your ride.